Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. How is everyone today? I'm Sandy, and I'm so happy you are here with me. Today, I'm going to show you how to glam up a dollar store charger plate into a beautiful crystal mirror that you can place on an easel as table decor or hang on the wall for all to admire. To start, I will list out the materials. And, unless otherwise stated, all the materials for this DIY is from Dollar Tree or Dollarama. We will need one large silver charger plate, a round mirror, a small picture frame, a supply of crystal or acrylic square gems, which I bought from eBay, and some silver beaded necklace. And as per mo most of my craft projects, we will also need some fix all and our handy dandy glue gun, which I purchased from Amazon. To begin, disassemble the picture frame and set aside everything but the cardboard backing, as that is the only part of the picture frame we will be using for today's craft. Turn the cardboard backing around and you will see a hook at the back. We will be cutting around this hook and gluing it to the back of the charger plate so that we can hang our charger plate later. If you prefer, you can also use command strips, but I find this method is just as good and is a couple of dollars cheaper. And while we work on this, I would like to take a moment to thank all the returning viewers to my channel for tuning in for today's craft project. If you are visiting for the first time, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future DIY craft videos. Next, disassemble the round mirror. Set aside the frame and cardboard backing as we will only be using the mirror for today's project. Using some fix-all and some hot glue, adhere the round mirror to the front of the charger plate, ensuring it is exactly centered. In the next part of this project, we will be placing the square gems flat onto the charger plate, all around the mirror. For this, we will be applying a small dollop of hot glue to the back of each gem and then adhere it to the plate.
Once the first row of gems are applied, start on the second row. And here is what the plate looks like so far. In total, we will need to apply five rows of gems.
With the five rows of gems applied, the charger plate is already looking beautiful, but we need to add the final touches before we are done. This is what the charger plate looks like so far. The gems are absolutely sparkling. Take the string of silver beaded necklace and using a small dollop of glue on each bead, adhere it around the outer border of the mirror. This will give our mirror that extra bling effect. Once that is done, use your favorite glass cleaner to wipe off any fingerprints or marks from the mirror. And here's the final look for our charger plate mirror. It looks absolutely stunning, but I can't decide where I should put it. Comment down below and let me know whether I should place it on an easel as table decor or whether I should hang it on my wall, perhaps at the front entryway. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can no be notified whenever I upload another DIY Glam project. I hope to see you all soon!